Hello everyone, this is a project on uh, resume sorting and clustering using text mining techniques. I am Pratik Kumar Khoury, I am an in Management Information Systems at Spear School of Business, Oklahoma State University. The problem that I am addressing here is of human resource department of any industry. Every company is one of the crucial function is to hire new individuals. For recruitment, the pool of the resumes a company gets for a job is way higher than the number of persons assigned to analyze it. Hence, there I feel a need to have a text mining model that sorts and filters keywords like internships, specific words, interests, etc. And basing on those keywords, various categories can be defined and resume can be categorized that might ultimately lead to selection of better individuals. Now, the data formats that a company might get will be in a lot of different formats like PDF, Word, scanned images, HTML documents, etc. Now, those resumes have to be changed into a format of Excel so that it can be more compatible with the rapid mine. The collection of data might be in all formats like I can show like images, words, or PDF, etc. Now, Changing that data to a format compatible would lead to more smooth running of the rapid miner. Like you can see here, the uh, column 1 gives applicant 1 and the resume of that person, applicant 2 and resume of the that person. Now the main process of basic text mining goes in the function here of the main process and in the vector creation that is inside process documents. Now first we have to retrieve the data from the Excel worksheet, giving that to the process documents to data. Inside it, you can see we have done operators used like transform cases that lowers the cases of every word for better filtering. Then tokenizing the data, like uh, tokenizing uh, dashes, uh, semicolons, etc. And then filtering those tokens so that it can be removed from the data and does not come under supervision of this rapid miner and then getting into the filtering stop words this operator basically stops uh, special words like and if that might not make much difference now the result of the basic text mining goes like this if you goes for if you are searching for some special characteristics like some person with sales uh, experience you can see that 153 documents have 24 uh, documents have 153 times this word have occurred so you, as you know for 24 percent of the documents have this sales experience sim goes with the engineering testing manufacturing these are the particular keywords they can search for in a document now more uh, words like clinical if you want to find a person with clinical experience you can know that it has occurred 66 times and in 18 documents so at least 18 people in the pool of resumes have this clinical experience now the main process in other basic text mining is retrieving data process documents today here and then transforming cases as it goes like this tokenizing filter tokens filter stopwatch and then generating n-grams what this actually n-grams do is that it calculates the linked words and their frequencies in the documents as I can show is like if you are searching for people with computer skill it has occurred 17 times computer and skills and in 17 document it means that 17 documents have people with computer skills same goes with customer service it has occurred 46 times and they are in 15 documents other basic result of text mining is if you are searching for a particular keyword adherent in some people so you can see that this binomial function shows you that it has been true in these documents applicant number 2 applicant number 50 59 90 and 97 97 so association rule shows in the main process like if we retrieve the data go to process documents we can apply three more operators is like numerical to binomial 
FP growth and create association. Numerical to binary will changes the data into true and false. Whether the word is there, it is true. If it is not there, then it is false. And FP growth initializes the growth of terms and the create association creates association rules. As you can see in the results, education and experience have occurred 90% of the times and to occur it with the com it is 97% is the confidence it means that for example if you take education experience and some term ABC comes 64 times of the data and it is likely to occur 94 and it is likely to occur with com and some domain 94% of the times here you can see this if this much words are appearing then other words might appear with them is a confidence that appear is going to appear with them now the main process uh, can be data similarity if you want to compare the resumes uh, it can be also taken as a plagiarism if uh, the number of resume or the size or the type of resume matches very much similarity so uh, you can just have to retrieve the data you have to process the documents simple processing and then you have to apply an operator data to similarity it basically operates to find similar terms in the documents and tell you see the result for example if we hey if we see here applicant number four resumes first column has four and the applicant hundred resume is second column now the similarity between these two resumes are 30 percent so this is how you can uh, calculate now the main process in clustering documents can be this is one of the most crucial part in resume uh, clustering and uh, sorting is like retrieving the data simple processing of the documents and then op operating uh, clustering uh, op uh, operator <clears throat> clustering operator is used to cluster similar document basing on similar terms for example uh, if you uh, carry on this uh, operator then it will make a cluster model as I have told that to make six clusters it has divided those items into different categories and then different items has been calculated like cluster 0 has 9 items and cluster 1 has 11 items now as you can see cluster 3 has um, applicant number 87 21 22 29 45 etc and samely go with the cluster 4 cluster 5 cluster 7 cluster 8 now uh, as I have seen through these clusters, the um, similar things you can see in every cluster is that applicant 4 17 46 47 had a general um, idea of nursing they have basically the uh, experience knowledge of nursing same goes with cluster 1 that is of media cluster 2 medical cluster 3 business cluster 4 engineering cluster 5 IT so if you divide the different resumes in these formats you can know that this particular terms or this particular number of applicants have applied for engineering department so you can just get this resumes directly to the engineering department and they can sort the best person they like uh, the data sources from where I have collected these are higher OSU grads, monster.com, LinkedIn, manual collection.